To calculate the voltage in a particular chemical cell, all you need to do is figure out which metal is the cathode and which one is the anode. Then, we can use a table of standard reduction potentials and we'll take the number for the cathode and subtract the number for the anode. For example, we have this zinc copper cell and I'm going to try and figure out which one is the cathode and which one's the anode. If I write the half reactions for these, the zinc oxidizes and changes into zinc 2 plus and the copper reduces. Now we just need to remember that phrase, red cat and ox. And then we can see that the reduction, the one gaining electrons, is going to be our cathode. And our other metal, the zinc, the one losing electrons, will be our anode. Next, we use a very special list called a list of standard reduction potentials. And search for the half reaction that matches the two that we have on the screen. The reduction potential for the copper 2 ion accepting two electrons to make copper metal is positive 0 0.34 volts and the anode, the zinc reduction potential, which is written backwards, don't let that confuse you, is written as negative 0 0.76 volts. To figure out the cell potential, just subtract the two. Do the cathode minus the anode. Notice that the sign ends up switching on the anode. That's good because that means that the reaction was flipped. If we do the math for this subtraction problem, we'll end up with a cell of positive 1.1 volts. And that's how you find the EMF for a standard cell. In our second example, we'll take the same approach to attack the question. First, we'll split it into the reed and the ox. Just really quick, doing some oxidation numbers, zero for that magnesium metal, plus one for the silver ion, plus two for the magnesium ion, and zero for the silver metal. I'll see that the magnesium goes up and the silver goes down. That way, I know that my oxidation is my magnesium, with the magnesium giving away two electrons, and my reduction is the silver. If I remember that really weird phrase, red cat and ox, I can remember that my reduction is my silver and my anode is the oxidation. That'll be the magnesium. So I turn to my best friend, the standard reduction potentials list, and I see that my silver one plus my electron, yielding the silver metal, has a standard reduction potential 
of 0 0.80 volts. My oxidation, my magnesium, the reduction potential for magnesium 2 plus, yielding magnesium metal, is negative 2.37. Now when we do cathode minus anode, we'll end up with 0 0.80 minus negative 2.37, which will yield us an overall positive voltage of 3.17 volts.